The program mode is the mode that I use most of the time for just about every scene. This camera, unlike many other cameras with the scene modes, it does have about 24 different scene modes, which are great. Each optimizes the camera for a different scene. And within some scene modes, you even have access to things like white balance. But none of the scene modes nor the auto mode will give you the amount of flexibility like the program mode will give you. So I'll show you why and how to use the program mode right now. Basically with a program mode, you have the quick menu completely accessible. Press the quick menu button right here. Hold that down for a second to bring up the menu. I have control over the intelligent exposure, which can come in handy, especially in backlit subjects. I have control over ISO. I have control over my white balance. And this can be very, very handy. This will give me the color that I'm looking for in the picture to know a lot more about the advantages of setting your own white balance and more about what white balance is. Check out the glossary section at lbguides.com. I can also change my focus point, which can be very nice. I can choose a very small focus point if I'm shooting a macro, or I can even have face detect and tracking if I want to lock the focus on a certain target and then reposition the camera. Normally, however, I really don't choose any of these. I just stick to the standard area focus. I can change my metering, which this can come in very handy for backlit subjects. If I choose spot meter, it'll just look at a small portion in the center of the screen in order to judge the proper shutter speed and aperture opening for that specific subject as opposed to looking at the entire picture. So this can also come in very, very handy. The other thing you have access to in the quick mode are these different film modes. And normally I just go with standard because this is something that I like to play with in the computer later on. But you can go ahead and scroll through these different film modes when you're taking your picture and see the effect it has in the screen. Vibrant colors is great for landscapes, for example, or sunsets. Basically, each film mode will give you a slightly different look and feel in your picture. Normally, however, as I said, I just go with standard and stick to that. Go ahead and press the quick menu button down to escape. The other thing I can do with the program mode as opposed to the auto mode is when I press the shutter button halfway, I can see my aperture and shutter settings down here. And when I release the shutter button, you'll notice the values have a yellow square around them, which means I can use my quick menu joystick to push or pull or basically just change these values to different settings while maintaining a balanced exposure. So you can see that both the aperture and shutter are changing simultaneously. And I may want to change these settings depending on the type of picture that I'm taking. So for example, if it's a sport picture, I would want a faster shutter speed. But if it's a landscape that I want, what I need is actually a smaller aperture opening. So changing these values using the quick menu joystick allows me to further optimize the camera for the specific scene that I'm shooting. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.